Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about line chart. Not about line chart overall, but about spaghetti chart or spaghetti plot. Here on the left, you can see a typical spaghetti chart, actually a bad implementation of a spaghetti chart. Uh, spaghetti chart is a line chart with more than a few lines. And in this exact implementation, every line has its own uh, color, and we have, as a result, too many lines and too many colors on this chart. It's really hard to understand what each color means, and we need to go back and forth uh, the legend and the lines, trying to match uh, the lines with the legend items, and uh, it doesn't work well for us. You can watch my previous videos about pie charts where we had basically the same problem uh, when we add too many slices to the pie charts and uh, use too many colors for the pie chart. And what happened here with this line charts is the same problem. This chart was created using Power BI default settings and uh, how it happened is that Power BI created such bad charts for me. Well, let me show you how it was created. I will show you how a chart like this can be created. Let me remove the existing chart. New visual. I will make it bigger. I will open the paints I need. And I can switch it to line chart visual. I will use V for axis X. I will use sales for axis Y. And I can add uh, my story name to the legend field. And I, now I have this ugly and basically useless chart. Why Power BI did this for me? Well, the problem is that I believe that con conditional formatting in Power BI not yet fully implemented and default uh, formatting settings uh, were not uh, well thought when implemented. Let me show formatting settings for this chart. I will hide all other panes to keep only format pane and here uh, in the line section what we see yes we have every hour store basically it's a city name and uh, we have no the fx button for conditional formatting so if i want to change any color here i need to do it manually And another problem, Power BI automatically assigned different colors, basically too many colors to all my lines. Uh, let me show better implementation of the spaghetti chart. Here on the right side, you can see what I believe is better implementation of spaghetti chart. So I made all lines light gray and only use it bold orange line for the selected store. I have a slicer where I can select only one store and this store will be highlighted uh, on the chart using orange color. And black line is for the average sales of all stores. This chart will work well if I want to compare uh, my sales with average sales and uh, all other stores exist on this chart using uh, light gray lines so they just provide some additional context but not much details we don't see story names we have just overall pattern of and trends of this light gray line Another useful thing here is a tooltip, which provides much more details where we can see sales for every store. So the rule number one for the spaghetti chart is to use 
as ma as less as possible colors just make everything gray and then decide what lines you want to highlight using color it can be one two three maybe four lines but not 10 lines not 15 lines not not even seven lines or six lines i believe three four is probably the largest number of lines uh, it makes sense to highlight using the colors again it's my personal opinion and uh, there are different uh, charts and different use cases probably in some cases you can use more colors uh, and in other cases you just need gray and one color to highlight what you selected on what you are going to focus on let me show how it was implemented i will switch to the lines in this chart in, on the format pane and you see what happened here i replaced my story dimension table with the all story names with a new table where i just created rows uh, with uh, names like story 01 story 02 story 03 and so on i can have for example 20 of them in my table from story 1 to story 20 and then my dax measurer decide what uh, real story to assign to every number and if i have only 11 or probably in this case we have yeah we have only 11 stories uh, then uh, other items from my table not visible here but I can uh, use a different measure, like for example, a measure that always return a non blank value instead of my sales measure to make all the items from my table visible here. Then I can manually assign gray color to every item from story one to story 20. Then I replace my measure back to my sales measure and uh, later when the data set will be refreshed and uh, new story will be added and the data will appear on the chart all new lines will remain light gray because otherwise let me switch to another example In this chart, I didn't create a new table with uh, uh, replacement names for my stories, like story one, story two, and so on. I just use it real names. You can see Vancouver, Quincy, Queens, and so on. And in this case, if uh, a new story uh, later will be added to the data set, it will appear here but power bi will assign new random color to this story and it will ruin my chart so i recommend to create a, a table with some uh, placeholders uh, for every line you want to display on your chart and the dax measurer decides what value to show for each placeholder for example, here I added to list of my stories additional uh, rows to the table. It's selected story one row, selected story two, and selected story three. And my measure decides what exactly real story values should be assigned to each of these lines. So when I selected Baltimore, Plattsburgh, and South Portland here, these uh, stories uh, are highlighted using the color on my chart.
Can I select more than three items here? Well, it's not possible to make it impossible to click on one more item and to select it in the slicer. But what I did here when someone selects more than three, there is just a measure that shows this uh, warning that you can't show more than three color lines on this chart. So I can deselect one of the items. Another important rule for the spaghetti chart is to not use a legend like default Power BI legend. It's much better to use serious labels to display names uh, just in front of the line using the same color. So it's easy to see which line means what. And uh, also you can use a title where you can highlight uh, different names using different colors. The problem is uh, with the title that it doesn't work uh, in built-in titles of Power BI Visual. You need another custom visual to make a title like this possible. In this example, I use it uh, HTML content visual to make this title. So we have three rulers already. First of one is use just a few colors. Second one is use color consistently. So if green here means Baltimore, then it's green in the title, it's green on the line. And uh, don't forget about the entire dashboard. If you already use a green color in this chart uh, for Baltimore, don't use the same color uh, on your other charts or on the same page uh, of the report uh, for different things. Don't use this green color, for example, for a country like United States can be green if green is already reserved for Baltimore. And uh, this is not uh, the only way to make uh, better spaghetti chart. It all depends on uh, what uh, data you have, what your goals, what uh, you are looking for, some trends or patterns in the data you are looking for. There are different ways to visualize your data. You can see here on the right, I have another implementation of a spaghetti plot. It's a North Atlantic sea surface temperature. And you can see that I made uh, about 40 lines on every chart uh, or every of, the, of these two charts. Uh, and I made uh, all of the lines as the blue for 1992, 2011 period and, or white for all other years except uh, 2023. And I used a contrast uh, red color to highlight the current year. So again, in this case, uh, blue and white work much better than gray. So I use it these colors, but the idea is the same. Uh, a subtle color or two colors use it to show uh, overall uh, pattern uh, and uh, trends. And uh, red color here is used to highlight what is important. You can see something is happening in 2023 and it's really easy to to get this uh, from the chart. And one more implementation of what we can also call a spaghetti chart, but it's also a population pyramid chart. On this chart, there are about 300 of lines. So imagine if 
a different color will be assigned to every line of this chart. It will be insane and absolutely useless. But this implementation of the spaghetti chart uses just orange color and it can be darker for the past period or lighter for the most recent and uh, future years. So we can see some uh, pattern on this chart really easy. Uh, lighter lines see some uh, forecast for the future period. Somewhere in the middle we see current situation and darker colors show us uh, population structure of uh, Qatar in the past. So again you can use just a few colors you can use one color and different uh, lightness of the color or different uh, transparency sometime uh, again it all depends on what exactly you are trying to say with your chart and uh, with what analysis you are going to help your users. Again, uh, exact implementation of spaghetti chart, good spaghetti chart depends on uh, what message you are trying to convey with your chart, what kind of analysis you are going to help your users to do with this chart, what kind of data you have. So it can be an average highlighted using the color, it can be a few selected items highlighted with the color, it can be just uh, one color but different lightness or different uh, opacity to show some overall patterns and how they were changing in the time. So again, it depends. That's all for today. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching uh, my channel. Subscribe to watch the following videos and uh, click the like button if you liked this video and if you, it helped you to understand something new about uh, as simple thing as line charts.